So let's look at how the stockholders' equity looks like on the balance sheet. The first account is going to be preferred stock, followed by paid in capital in excess of par on the preferred stock. And then we list the common stock at par and the paid in capital in excess of par for the common stock. And then we list retained earnings. So now you also need to know the formula for paid in capital. So remember paid in capital are the amounts that came from issuing stock. So that would be preferred stock plus paid in capital in excess of par on the preferred stock, common stock, and then paid in capital in excess of par for the common. That gives you total paid in capital. So let's look at the equity section of a balance sheet. So notice we have paid in capital, which consists of preferred stock, $50 par, 2,000 shares are authorized and issued for a total of $100,000. We have paid in capital in excess of par for the preferred stock, $5,000. Common stock, it's a dollar par. There's a million shares authorized, but they've only issued half of them. 500,000 issued gives us $500,000. And then paid in capital in excess of par on the common stock is 750,000, giving us a total paid in capital of 1.355. And retained earnings, now remember, retained earnings is past profits not yet paid out in the form of dividends, 715,000. So our total equity is 2,070,000. The paid in portion or contributed, which means it was contributed or paid in by the Stockholders is 1.3 and retained earnings is 715,000.